Right, I'm writing my vows. <laughs> I think I'm almost done though. I think I got this. I've done a lot of crying while reading and writing. <laughs> so where where are you? Where are you? Where are you trying Here. to figure? Okay. And I basically want to like say that he helps. He makes me like appreciate life in its moment. I guess to pause. Pause. I like that. You have my minute, and you're always waiting for me to write you to pause. That's great. I like the Rihanna piece. I'm picturing you savoring each moment, moment like a piece of prosciutto. <laughs> Eric, I remember the first time that we ever hung out. We sat in your living room listening to music until 3 a.m. and I played you one of my favorite songs, Vienna by Billy Joel. In it he says, slow down you crazy child, you're so ambitious for a juvenile, but then if you're so smart, tell me why are you still so afraid? My whole life I've been in a rush to get to the next place. Sorry. My whole life I've been in a rush to get to the next place, feeling like I'm running out of time. I couldn't believe that day you already knew all the words to that B-side. <laughs> but in that moment I realized that being with you makes me not afraid. You are my Vienna, and you're always waiting for me. <laughs> Reminding me to pause <laughs> and savor each moment. <laughs> To tell you how much I love you, I first need to tell you a story. When I was a kid, Nathan and I drove across the country from here in Franklin to Los Angeles. Frankly, I was a snotty kid without a lot of perspective. We didn't stop once to smell the roses. Heck, we didn't even look to see if there were any roses. <laughs> we went through dozens of small towns and I thought to myself, don't they want to get to the big city like us? and I was a fool, because they knew something that it took me another 10 years to figure out. They had found something there that made them stay. <laughs> made them realize that their dreams weren't bound to some place. <laughs> well, now it's getting me. <laughs> they were bound to somebody. For me, that person is you. You're my big city bustling life, and my small town porch swing watching the world go by, and everything in between. You make every place full of contentment a home, and I want to thank you for that. My mom and my dad wanted to move out into the country, so we bought this when I was a kid, and we used to do like camping trips out here for 10, 15 years, and then they decided to build the house, when my father passed away, he left us all letters, and in all of those letters, he was sort of like, don't let the dream die just because of me. We harvested pretty looking leaves, and now we're tying it to other bits of a different tree to make some sort of ornament or, I guess, a creature that's not meant to be in nature. <laughs> The very first thing you told me was contrary to the name and what you're thinking, Jay is not a middle-aged white man. <laughs> I was intrigued. He told me that she was a very smart, creative UX designer that he had met from work, that he loved spending time with her, and that she was hot. <laughs> J 
Jay cries so often that earlier today, she made herself cry because she was talking about crying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hurting this whole situation. <laughs> This is going to be a real. This is going to be a real test of the makeup, though, right. because trust me, you've probably never met a bride that cries as much as I do. I mean, I haven't met a person that cries. As much. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't want to be the one. <laughs> I never told you this story before, but I remember the day after we'd been dating for about a month. We were eating lunch at work, and I spilled something as I dropped my dishes off in a rush. As usual, I forgot something, and when I had to double back, I saw that you had stopped to clean not just mine, but the other messes on the floor without complaint, never saying a word to me afterwards. To me, that's who you are. You are humble, you are patient, and you are selfless. You don't just support me in my dreams, ambitions, or crazy ideas. But you're right by my side, making 140 wedding cups, even after the first 50 broke. <laughs> <laughs> We've made all the standard promises together, and even lived most of them. You've stood by me in good times, gallivanting around Spain, and bad times, when my father <clears throat> got really ill, The first letter I ever wrote to you only had eight words. <laughs> Two weeks is too long to be apart. You had just gone to Canada to renew your visa and I was in LA for a wedding. You may not believe it now, but even then I knew I meant those words not just then, but forever. So apparently I have to debase myself in order to get Jay to marry me. Yes. She's doing the Singaporean thing. We're not, the not, Singaporean, not full fledged. Right? We just have to do something embarrassing for like a couple of seconds and then I'll open the door. And uh, that sounds awesome. Are they coming? Are they coming? Shuffle around. I think he's allowed to see you now. <laughs> Tell us a funny story about uh, you and Jay. You're uh -huh. really good. <laughs> you are good. Jay and I, we went on our first like big date. So we went to a pop-up dinner, and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna be really suave. We're just gonna like sit in the park together. We're gonna look at the skyline, and we're gonna listen to music. It's gonna be romantic. And then, um, I, then, I, and then I slipped, and I fell all the way down the hill, and then I just stayed there. <laughs> As if I was meant to have done that. When Jay came into his life, uh... uh it was like she had been our friend since we were 12 years old as well. She's just as amazing as Eric is, and seeing the two of them together as happy as they are um, makes me incredibly happy for the two of them and for the life that they're going to lead together. single moment have I doubted that we are meant to be together. Being with you is the easiest decision I ever made and I am ecstatic to be starting this new chapter with you here today. I promise to love you for who you are and who you are yet to become. I promise to challenge us to be the very best versions of ourselves. I promise to interact with strangers even when you don't want to. <laughs> Organize your life with too many spreadsheets and pretend to be surprised even though I've already read the end. <laughs> I promise to keep waking up every day feeling like I'm the luckiest person in the world and striving to be the wife and best friend that you deserve. I promise to make sure you are at the airport way too early. <laughs> that I stay up with you until five in the morning talking through how to be a better manager books. That I'll always order the mashed potatoes even if I don't want to eat them. <laughs> I'll watch as many rom-coms as we can find, and I'll bring the popcorn. And I'll be your faithful pottery production assistant for as long as my arms have strength. I will be by your side. I will keep you safe and do everything in my power to make us prosperous. I will make sure our spark stays aflame until the day I die, whatever it takes. And that's the God's honest truth. It's 
not easy rocking up into a friendship group that's known each other for nearly 20 years. You went above and beyond spending this week with us and after watching you and Jay navigate the crazy maze that is planning a wedding together, I have truly never been more confident that Jay has a wonderful life ahead of her full of all the love that she deserves. Jay, you got freaking married! old selves were to look at this day and at you and at us they would be just so proud that you've married this this amazing person who's unconditionally supportive and you completely understand one another so Eric and Jay congratulations I hope that you have amazing adventures together and just more happiness than you know what to do with Come home in the morning light. My mother says, when you gonna live your life right? Oh, mother dear, we're not the fortunate ones. And girls, they want to have fun. Oh, girls, they want to have fun. Oh, keep going, keep going. They want more. <laughs>